Let's start by setting up our second view controller. We want our second view controller to display the image of the planet we tapped on. And not only that, but we will want to be able to zoom and pan around the planet. Maybe we can check for some Martians on our photo, who knows. Let's first create a new subclass of UI view controller so we can communicate to our new storyboard view controller. So as we've done before, let's go to File, New File. And we're going to choose iOS Cocoa Touch Objective-C class. And we're going to make this a subclass of UI view controller because we added a UI view controller object to our storyboard. So in order to have a controller to manage it, it needs to be a subclass of UI view controller. And we can change the class name to OW space image view controller because it's in charge of panning around and zooming in on our space image. So we can go ahead and press next and press create. And now we have a new view controller. And again, to harken back to MVC, our model in this case would be the OW space object that we want to display to the user. And our views include a UI scroll view, which we'll use to move around our image, as well as an image view, which will be sitting on top of our scroll view. It's going to be our view controller's duty to take this model and make sure that it's displayed by our views in our application. So as we've done before, let's go back to our storyboard and let's select our view controller. Ah, I zoomed out there. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the class here in the identity inspector. So we can go ahead and select class here and we need to have our controller that we just created manage this view and we're going to add a scroll view and an image view on top of this view. So let's go ahead and change this class. We can call this OW space image view controller and hit return here. The view controller is going to be past the space object. It will then take that space object's properties to display information, specifically the image on this screen. To do this, we're going to use a class called UI Scroll View. And UI Scroll View will allow us to scroll vertically and horizontally depending on the parameters we use. Specifically, we're going to be using the property Content Offset. So let's go ahead and add a scroll view onto our view here. And we're going to make, we're going to size this so that it fits right under our navigation bar and takes up the remainder of the screen because we want a big nice big image here and we're going to also hook this up to our header file so we're going to have to hold down the alt key and press on OW space image view controller to open up the assistant editor I'm going to go ahead and change the sizing here a little bit so I have a little bit more space to see both at the same time and with my scroll view selected which I can confirm in my scene outline I'm going to hold down the control key and drag to my header file and let's name this scroll view and we're going to make this type UI scroll view the storage type is going to be strong and we're going to make sure that we make the connection type an outlet we can press connect and now we have a property where we've properly hooked up our UI scroll view to our storyboard